What's up guys? Welcome to Heroes Hour. It's a little pixel art style top-down RTS game. I played a little bit of this when it was in its uh, demo, but I figured it's out now. I haven't actually touched the game in a while. So I figured why don't we play this? So let me set up things. I love war. Let me set up a thing here. So essentially this game you pick uh what class you want to play i don't think there's any like story mode to the game that's been added since i played at least i couldn't find one uh or any campaign or anything but it's mostly just uh it is a fun game it's a campaign test but map showcasing asymmetric design house i don't know i think these are more so just teaching you how to make your own custom things but let's see so i think we're gonna do like a medium saw map uh, with, no, oh, okay, let's see. No Man's Island. All right, let me find a good map and then get everything else. All right, so I think just to start off to showcase this game, uh, we're going to just be doing a small map on the Isle of War, which is a 1v1 map. Four islands, a great sea, and two rival realms going to war. And then we'll probably do some things on bigger things. There's one down here I'm kind of interested in. I haven't actually played on. It's ten towns. They're a five-player map with... It looks like a, a bunch of cities that are not being claimed. But let's get into this. Let's see. So... I have a thing with uh, necromancy. Anytime I can, a game offers necromancy, I will take it as an option. And this game very much does that uh, with the Decay faction. And I'm going to be playing Soul Eater. Because this ability right here, which these two start with it, but I like this uh, Recalturate, or Recalcitrant, Recalcitrance, whatever. Uh, that's a good ability to start with, too. So we'll start with Soul Eater. I can stay random. And then all the advanced settings the same. Alright, so the game goes in, I think procedurally generates a map and then sets everyone up. But it has some kind of rules that it is following. Like I think this is gonna be it said four islands. Uh though from that screen it looked like a lot more than that. Alright, so Ooh. So the game does not happy that okay, well I'll just deal with that, whatever. Um, so the way the game works, uh, actually, can I fix that? Hold on. Is there a way to, I don't think there's a way to lock the mouse. That's slightly annoying. All right, whatever. We'll just deal with it. But sometimes when I go over here, it doesn't catch my mouse. Anyway, that's what I hit for having two monitors. Anyway, so start with you can see this uh kind of dark area yeah and it ah that's gonna get annoying uh you know what can i just okay i use keys that works better all right so this dark area is the current fog of war i can't see anything past that the way this game works is this is your hero your hero has a couple of units with it so right now i just have the hero a soul mage and 13 skeletons and then I have these two abilities. Um, so, this green bar here is, I think that's the, no, that is my stamina, okay. So the green bar here is the stamina, that's how much you can move in each day. So each day is one turn, and then you have a week here. And I think there's any, a week event as well. Uh, we have some obstacles, or some, Things on the map, I think these are just terrain. Uh, but there is a campfire, some wood. There's something there you can attack. Interesting. And then there's some treasure being guarded by a impossible creature. So right now I can't go and take that because that creature, it's too high level for me to do anything with. Uh, so there's some free sulfur there. 
I think the first thing we want to do is go to our base, or click on our base rather, you don't actually have to be at it. And we can choose to think build something. We can either upgrade, unit creation. Uh, all right, so we can either create one or create max. So we had 15 of those that we can create, and I think the next day, if I remember correctly, they will be available to be added to a team, or some way that that works. Uh, we'll learn as we go. It's been a while since I played, so I don't quite remember everything. So that's what we'll do there. And then the buildings, we have the money, so we can build one thing per day if we have the gold to build it. My daily income right now is a thousand gold. On uh, my gold right now, I've got 10875 So I can spend... Actually, these don't cost... Oh, these ones do. Okay. So I already own this building, so I can build one of these three. I can either build a soul beacon, a crypt, or I can upgrade the graveyard, which I believe increases the power of the skeletons. Oh, and uh, upgrade skeletons to bone guards. And then the weekly number of units is 15. All right, let's see. Or you can build a soul beacon. The soul beacon catches the souls of slain enemies and can bind them into undead soldiers over time. The special building in the town unlocks more types. So this takes uh, things that you kill and then can convert them into dead soldiers. And then the crypt, a dwelling that allows you to create zombies or tarantulas, you know, one or the other. In weekly, the weekly number of units is 8 or 11, respectively. I think we're going to start with the Soul Beacon, because that gives us more abilities to reanimate. Yeah, that's what we can do there for the day. I've already built something this turn, and this is one of the things that I tend to forget about, is the, the uh, town. Oh. Alright, so... Whenever you're moving, you can have multiple heroes. For now, I only have the one. But when you have multiple heroes, you're gonna to wanna to click on your hero before you're moving. And you can see what I have available. Uh, that's the spell I currently have, it is Crystallize. Is there a better way to get out of the menu than that? Because my first escape, it opens that. All right, whatever. Alrighty, so as far as what's on the map right now, I can see there, okay, I can see you. I think I'm going to go in this camp. That's why you're here with gold and further movement speed. So I'm going to go here. Now, if there is any object, I believe it's just within one space of an enemy. You cannot pick it up as long as the enemy is there. It's just going to be protected by them. I can go and get that. Uh, this is a roaming neutral. So generally, the roaming creatures, uh, the new, they are neutral. And unless you start a war with their faction, they will just kind of leave you alone. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can get that goal. We can try. I can. Okay. Can I get that one? Okay, cool. Alright, so since this is a... This isn't a creature, so it wasn't protecting those two things. It is a building that I can try to claim. There's some mercury there. Um, but I am out of stamina for the day, so I cannot move anywhere. As you see, I'm completely out. So, that will be the end of this turn. Unless there's anything else I can do. See the game rules. Okay. So, there. if I come across any clues, we'll see that there. I can attempt to dig if I had... I think I have to have the energy to do that. And then, yeah. Ah! Makes a camp, increases the attack. Okay, then which end turn? Now it's going to go through everyone else's turn. So you see, the neutral guy roams around. And again, he's not really going to mess with us as long as we don't try to attack him. Um, but then the enemy also got to do their movement. So I'm going to let's first come here. The soul beacon. It's so big, and I still need to figure out. I don't think I ever figured out how to exactly use it. I think it just generates things, but yeah. Binding souls requires soul. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, come back here. All right. 
Let's go ahead and build our thing for the day. We'll just start there. All right, so we've unlocked this tier since we built something here. So we have the Guild of Mages. Unlock four spells, two minor spells, one major spell, and a town portal. Learn To learn town portal requires the hero to be level five. Gives any visiting heroes plus one spell power. Uh, that is the first time they are visiting the Guild of the Mages. So I can't get that ability quite yet. Um, so I may want to just hold off on this for right now, even though it does give some spells, but yeah. Let's see. This would be really good later when I, uh, if someone comes to attack the town, I could just teleport back to the town using the town portal spell and defend. Let's see here. The soul transmitter empowers the soul beacon, doubling the rate of soul power being turned into undead creatures, enabling spending mercury instead of to, oh, to instantly convert 30 soul power worth of units. Unlock a new set of undead bindings. Uh, let's see. We can get the fort. Greatly increases the weekly number of units chosen. It greatly increases the weekly number of units from a chosen dwelling in town. Improve the defenses of the town. It's great units. Okay. So it increases the weekly number of units produced. Uh, and improves the defense of the town. Also, these here that are being created, these aren't just sitting here waiting while they are for the, for a good port. They are also defending the town. So if the town were to get attacked right now, there are 15 skeletons guarding the town. All right, then we have the tavern that allows you to recruit heroes. Heroes come with a small army and a starting at a starting price of 2,500 gold. Uh, I think the tavern might be worth building early on just to be able to scout more. I don't know. Let me see. And then the haunt allows you to create lost souls or death stalkers. And the marketplace allows you to buy and sell resources for gold. Let me see. So I think I'm going to build the tavern this time. And then, yes, we can go ahead and recruit Lord of None. So he'll have a small little army. Uh, I don't think I want to recruit too many people right now, but so I can take these skeletons that I made and move them into his army now since he is near because he's actually going to, uh, he's going to spawn right here. So since he's next to the, uh, the city or the necrotica, I guess if I'm calling it, um, I can move like all of the units into the army or into the town. I can't move him because he sells me out and then they would be defending the town. But let's go ahead and... So I've already created all of the skeletons I can for this week. So we can't create any more. Let's see. And then the soul beacon just shows us we have five. If I have five souls, I can try to do that. Uh, and then, yeah. And that's all we can do there for today. So now we have our movement. So... Now that we have two heroes, I need to click on which hero I want to actually use. Oh, that wasn't even me. That's why. Uh, so that's near impossible, so I can't do that. But I think I'm going to go here, grab that Mercury. That's going to be impossible. So for the first two or first couple of turns, oh, Crystal, we're going to be just going around and getting resources and getting our army a little bit stronger. There's not a lot more that I can do at this point because of how strong everything is around me. But we'll go ahead and go there. That's all you can do. And these uh, impossible ratings are actually going to be specific to whatever hero you have selected. Because their armies are going to be different. But let's see. Uh, that's a hard. And I think you're too close to, for me to actually be able to grab that. Let's go this way. Because I go here. He's going to be... Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'd be crossing too much into his path and see if I try to take this. Yeah. So, that's going to be a fight if I try to take that. 
There's a black obelisk here. Let's get this ore and then talk to this black obelisk. Next time. All right, so that's all I can do for that. I've exhausted all of the resources for both. So we'll go to the next turn. Let the enemy do what they're going to do. All right, and I don't remember if... I think these do get harder as they go on. Um, but I don't remember. I could be wrong on that. Uh, let's see. I think pretty much going here. Maybe a little bit further down. Okay. So that shows me all of that. I don't think there's anything more over here. There might be. But I think for the most part, we just want to go up and unlock up there. And that's all the movement that you can do. And that would be a hard fight. I don't think I can do that one quite yet. Let's see. Is that the enemy I'm fighting? Is it those people? Okay. Let me go to the, to the, uh, I'm probably going to call it a necropolis just because, yeah. Oh, no, back here. You. All right. Buildings. All right, so let's do our building for the day. And I think we want to go ahead and possibly make one of these two immortal. Alrighty, so when this creature would otherwise die, it goes into hibernation, it'll wait for 30 seconds, or at the end of combat, each time it goes into hibernation, the chance of surviving the next time is halved. Okay. So this is things hard to kill. Uh, and then this one, it can avoid damage by, yeah, okay, that can avoid damage. It's undead, so it's immune to fear, which I think all of the things that I make are undead. Uh, except for the tarantula, yeah. So let's see. I think for right now, uh, let's see. So is this, is it slow? The creature moves slowly, okay. So yeah, I think we want to go ahead and get the crypt and get the tarantulas. Then we'll go ahead and create max of those. So they're just waiting to be picked up now. Now, I could go and pick them up. Which I think, yeah, probably be... Although, I don't want them as part of your army. So yeah, I think I'll just go scouting right now. Those are guarded. There's a treasure chest here I can take. Uh, so, I think I will take the experience. So now, this character has leveled up, so I can choose an additional ability. And it's also going to get plus one to spell power. So, I think we want to go ahead and take uh, Necromancy, because that's really good. It can just burn mana into uh, raising things that it kills. Recruitment. Let's see, each rank will increase the available units by 20% of their base weekly growth. Okay, so that just helps me make more things at the town. Uh, Olingarchy increases the strength of units, but decreases the army's reserve limit. Eh, I don't think I want that. Oh, what did I get for just having you? Bane and royalty decreases the amount of cost per... Okay. Alright, so this guy kind of lowers and manipulates the cost of things, it seems. Decreases resource cost by 20 per rank. The hero does not need to be present in the town for the effect to take place. Several heroes with royalty have their effects stacked. So if I have a bunch of royalty, I can reduce the cost of things. Okay. This increases my weekly allowance. Or my daily allowance. All right, so it gives me three hundred fifty gold per day per rank. Let's see. So these are good for like building up things, and that's. I think actually I'm gonna take a state. 
yeah that kind of helps me out in the long run Ooh, this windmill does not have anyone controlling it right now so I think I will go up here all right and that is all I can do there I believe I don't th I think I did everything here yeah uh, I don't really want to recruit here right now all right end of the turn All right, so the first thing I'm going to do with you, all right, let's go and take this windmill. All right, so that gave me two crystals. Visiting the windmill will allow you here to pick up some resources once a week. Okay, so once a week I can come here and grab this. Uh, I think that's actually just their roaming. So I don't, I don't have a boat yet, but if I can take this, I can get a boat yard. Okay, that's good to know. So I think that's all I can do out here for now. So we're going to go ahead and just start returning back to town. Now for you, no, you, this hero, hi, go to town. And then I actually want to go ahead and, actually, did they change that? Ah, hi, you. Okay, now I just have to go into it. Okay. So, oh, that's interesting. Was that always a thing? I don't think that was always a thing. I okay, that's interesting. I can scout with my units. Huh. Do I have the ability to Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna play with that. I didn't know that was a thing. Let's use that a little bit. Oh, I actually kind of messed that up. Hold up. That's... Okay. All right, let's put you all back together for right now. All right. Anyway. All right, put all that back together. Um... I'm going to meet up and take your units because I think if we put things together, we should be good. All right. Anyway, let's go in here. Do we want to build something yet? Marketplace allows us to buy resources, but I don't think I want to do that quite yet. Greatly increases the weekly number of units from a chosen dwelling in the town. Improves the defenses of the town. So yeah, I think we want to go ahead and do that. For now, we're going to increase spiders because they do things. Okay. And I think that's... Yep, that's all we can do today. And we'll get into... <laughs> All right, so the first thing, so this is hard right now. So I believe, I'm gonna switch to you. I'll oh, so use one and two to switch. So we're gonna do this, go here. And I'm gonna, t can I just, yeah, okay. We do that, so now this should be moderate. This should be easy. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this. So here's the combat now. So the combat is an auto fighter. What does that do? Oh, I can split them. That's new. Can I put them back together? Ah, squeeze together. There we go. Guys, I have to squish them back together. Okay. Um. So it's kind of an auto battler, but you do have a little bit of control over it. So here's my hero, and this is a soul mage I have. So when we start the battle, everything is going to kind of split. So I have 36 skeletons right now, and he just has 36 archers. Uh, I kind of want you to split off. Let's see. 
think what this maybe yeah skeletons in the front yeah let's just put these three in the front and then the soul mage back here and then my hero back here Alrighty. and then units yeah there's everything i have nothing in reserve so if i had reserve things if i had like because i can only have 269 unit power on the field i would have things in reserve and i could throw those out as things die but yeah, so everything's going to break apart and they're going to auto battle. So if you mouse over your spell book, time freezes. So it gives you a chance to like see what spell you want to play. We've got 20 mana right now. And crystallize costs 5. Defective enemies are encased in ice, stunning them for some time. When taking damage, the ice will eventually break, which doubles the damage taken. So I'm going to do that and freeze these. So that reduces the amount of damage my things take because they can't attack right now. And then when that ice breaks, they will start taking more damage, I think it said. Or they take damage when it breaks. One of the two. Uh, but you know, this should be easy. I've only lost three. I've lost four creatures. But I've gained some creatures from killing things. I think that's what that's saying. Yeah. Alrighty. So I've killed those. And I gained 120, or sorry, 1,200 experience. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, that was that. Whenever a creature in the hero's army dies, they have a chance to, uh, plus it's strength, uh, to return to the vengeful spirit. Although I don't think that was, hold on. Spreads the curse of this with turns enemies into permanent. Okay. This is what it was. Melodection. Okay. So this, as I'm killing things will turn them into undead and then this at the end of the fight i can just start raising them so does this get things for more yeah so i can click here and figure out where i want to put that curse of undead let's see the number of units that are given okay so these two are going to be really good, but I do want to go and get Necromancy so I can just start pulling mana into that. Alright, so now we've got that, we can go ahead and take this or query, uh, quarry, but I'm going to leave that up to this guy. Alright, so that's now with us. Now we're going to take this fight. This one's going to be easy. And we'll just let it do its thing. Yeah. Could reposition things, but I don't think it's necessary. All right, let's see if they even kill anything from ours. Doesn't seem like it. So these are units, you can see how many are dying or winning. So I lost one, lost two, lost a spider. How dare you kill my spiders? Do I reanimate any of your stuff? Only fifty percent chance, but oh, we killed three. How dare you? Killed two spiders. No. I need my spooters. Okay. Well, minimal losses. But. Killed 30 of those. Gained 1,100 experience. And I get to reanimate things now. So if I spend 8 mana. So I can either spend 8 mana to raise is it just one and one i think so or is it five? Oh, i can choose which one right ah gotcha okay so i can either i can spend eight mana to raise five skeletons or nine mana to raise three wretches uh or three wretches so wretches have charge which i think makes them really fast oh no they charge into battle and deal damage okay and they have terror Let's see, they have a chance. Enemies have a chance to become terrified and will run away from combat for a few seconds. I think I'm going to spend the 9 mana. Uh, where's my mana? There it is. So I have 15, so I'm going to spend 9 mana to make these. Or if I want, I can just uh, discount in the next mana. Oh, they changed that. I used to be able to just take the mana, but now it discounts it. Discounting the next by 4. So that means if I do that the next time that I do something, it... Okay. But I'm going to spend the nine to make that. And then we'll go and get the wood, the wood, and the sawmill. 
So now the sawmill, once captured, gives two wood each day, and then the ore quarry gives two ore each day. And let's see if, do I have enough to actually do this? To grab that? No, I don't. Yeah, if I did, I would go ahead and do that, but I think that's all that we can do for right now. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go right down. Now, to do everything here. Yeah, this is the part that trips me up, is that I will occasionally just forget this. Alrighty. So, let me see. Okay, so it looks like I did it. Okay, so we can go ahead and build something. And yeah, it'll tell me right here, already built for the day. So, alright, let's go ahead and do our town things before we end the turn. So, I think for now we're going to just upgrade the crypt. And the town is, or the, uh, yeah, Necropolis has grown to a township. Still going to go on Necropolis. So, now this goes the Tarantula Expert. Oh, wait, do I pick one of these? Oh, okay, I pick one. Greatly increases the weekly growth of Tarantulas and Corpse Seer. See, Seaters. Corpse. Corpse eaters? Oh, corpse eaters. Got it. There needs to be a space there. The Grand Army will increase the weekly growth of all creatures with a base growth of four or more by 15%. And then the Royal Institution gives a one time boost that makes all of your heroes level up. And I'm not so interested in that. But I think the. Hmm. I think the Grand Army will serve us better in the long run. So we're going to take Grand Army. Alright, got that. So, if you would like at any point in time, you can actually go here and switch these. I think you can switch back later, but each week you can only create one of the two. Yeah. So we're going to stick with that. And we're going to make these stronger. I probably also want to make the skeleton stronger. So it's basic uh, RTS rolls. If you don't upgrade your units, you will die. Upgrades are very important. So let's see. Soul Beacon. So the Soul Beacon. Whenever you defeat enemies, 20% of the battle. Let's see. So this, again, I don't quite understand how to use this. Whenever you defeat an enemy, 20% of their power is made available as soul power. Soul power will be turned into undead units, creatures day by day. So I'm guessing this will just slowly make these. Do I need to fill this? Because, good lord, 30 is none. Um, Alright, we'll just see. We'll see what that does. It should be creating skeletons, so... Either way. All right, that's the end of that day. Alrighty, so... Roaming's not doing anything. Let's select the guy's going to damage right now. Can I rearrange those? No, not right now. All right, so that's a hard fight, but that one's easy. So let's go ahead and take this out. And with it being easy, I don't think it matters too much, but we'll throw everything up there. Make that quick. Go! So I only have eight mana, so I don't really want to cast a spell if I want to use the necromancy to bring things back. And I think your mana regenerates once, or at the end of the week, if I'm not mistaken. So look, all this treasure. I could be taking that right now. A lot of ranged things. Let's see, I lost one of my wretcheds. No! Let's see if I gain anything. Hey, you see the wretched just like charge that guy. Oh, that's a spider. You can also just move around if I don't want to. I'm not watching. Yeah. All right, so I lost two units. One wretched, yeah, okay. Alrighty, so I can't afford to create a wretched and also can't afford to create skeletons. So I'm going to drain and discount. 
Okay, so yeah, so that makes that next one cost less. All right, so the next time that I do that, it should be cheaper. And I think I can do it again, maybe, and then make it even cheaper. Well, let's see. So now, we have Mastery, Recruiting Soul Mages over time and make soul mages upgrade stronger. This recruit soul mages for the hero's army over time or lich heroes if you already have any in their army. The average rate is less than one per week. Okay. So I can get that and I can get an additional soul mage a little bit once a week. Let's see. A champion. Elite creatures. Oh, wait. Ah. Elite creatures. Any creature with power 9 or higher. And their health and damage size. Okay, cool. True strike. No. The worst spell. Let's see. Anyway. Archer gets ranged. I don't have any range agents, so I don't really care about that right now. I think I'm going to take Malediction. Let's see. The number of units that are given the Curse of Malediction depends on the rank of Malediction spell. Oh, I've been not using that. Okay. So I have to cast a spell to get Malediction to work. So whenever I cast a spell... Wait, no. Sprite's Curse of Malediction, or the Curse of Undeath when casting spells. Yeah, okay, so whenever I cast a spell, it gives Curse of Undeath. Okay, so I've just not been casting spells, so I need to do that. Okay. That can be done. Or this. Which isn't going to be it. Okay. So yeah, we'll take Malediction. Uh, gold or experience? We're good on gold right now. I think we're just taking experience. Still can't do that. Can't do that now. Um, let's increase this. So whenever a creature in the hero's army die, they have a now 25% chance to leave a vengeful spirit, which we'll continue to fight for. And vengeful spirit has 70% much health and increase by additional 10 for actually. I'm going to take Mastery. I'm going to start getting more Soul Mages. We'll do that. And then I get an item here. So, the Metallers and... Or Mandals Insignia? Anyway. It is a necklace. has plus one Demonology skill. Which is this. We'll read that in a second. Uh, Pact of Metals... Okay, so I get... If I have three bits of Mandal set, I get... 25% of lost creatures return after combat. Ooh, nasty. All right, and then demonology. After combat, the hero... Or allows the hero to sacrifice some of the experience gained to summon demonic reinforcements. Interesting. Okay, so now I can start summoning demons at the cost of experience. That's nasty. All right, so that's going to be hard right now. That one's impossible. So for the time being, let's go back to town. Or at least attempt to approach town. Okay. Okay, and I think our soul beacon... Did it do that? Where did you four come from? I think you may have come from the soul beacon. Okay. Anyway. Let's see what we want to make. If we're making anything right now, or we may want to just save our gold. I can upgrade this again. Which would make these even stronger. Give them venom. Or upgrade the bone guards. Oh, I actually can't upgrade the crypt anymore. Uh, okay. 
Let's upgrade the graveyard. Make them stronger. Very good. And then I don't want another hero at the moment. I think we're good there. Uh, done with that. So yeah, this guy is mostly just a scouting guy, but I might want to also start leveling him up as well. So I might actually move these over here. So tomorrow you can actually start going, that's still impossible. That's hard. That's hard. We'll go through you. Okay. You're moderate. So doable. All right. Next day. Alrighty. So again, we'll start with you going over and fighting. Not you, but this moderate guy. But I do still want to get you leveled up just a little bit. Because, I mean, you having points will be fine. Uh, start battle. You have no spells, so this is mostly just go and beat the things. But at a moderate difficulty, it should be doable. Uh, lost two units so far. And I can speed up the fight if I want. Or slow it down. Oh god. There we go. Uh, suffered some heavy losses there, but... Now what we want to do... So I can increase royalty, which decreases resource cost per rank. So that will increase resource costs, so that's good. So we'll go ahead and take that. No, I don't want anything from you. All right, and then we're done getting stuff there. All right, and then we'll do our Necropolis stuff. Is there anything that I want to build? Improves the tower and given access to two possible heroes instead of one. Giving chance of recruiting rare heroes. Heroes... Heroes hired at the town get a boost of their bodyguard skill and gives 100 gold each day. So... I think I'm going to do this because this actually just increases the amount of gold that I get per day. So that's good. So now there's a second hero. I'm not entirely sure how to see how to tell if something's a rare hero, but you know, this one might be one because you have troglodytes, yay! Uh, uh, you're at level two. Hmm, maybe later. I don't know. All right, so that's the end of that day, and that's going to be the end of the first week. So that's going to also be the end of the episodes. I think for this, we're going to do episodes in uh, one episode or one week per episode. So, so I think that's a good time for that. But if you do enjoy this comment, make sure like, comment, subscribe, all the fun things. Uh, aside from that, we will see you next time.